In this video, we are hitting the road to do one of our most epic garden installs yet. So I'm packing a bag, I'm grabbing Jacques, our garden hermit, we're heading out on a flight to Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, to do a garden install for Carrie Underwood. We've made it, Jacques and I are here, we're just outside of Nashville at an amazing garden, I can already see. Yeah. Some really cool layouts, a little bit better set up than yeah, my first one, I have to say. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check out, we have a very special collaboration. And here we are. Hi. How's it going, Carrie? Good, how are you? Good to see you. You too. How are you? Good, Good thank to you. see you. Amazing spot. Thank you. Amazing thank spot. You. So how did you get into the whole garden game? Because its I don't think you grew up doing it, right? I did not. Um, I grew up in Oklahoma on a cattle farm, yeah. and um, a lot of neighbors around us would um, garden, and uh, we would always play in the gardens, and they'd kind of have us, you know, pick strawberries and stuff like that. But we moved out here, um, got quite a bit of land. As soon as we started building the house, we started building the garden and tried a little bits here and there, um, and then really got to take a deep dive in 2020 mm -hmm. when we were just here. I love the heat here in Tennessee, and it just made me happy to you know, grow something from nothing. Yeah. It's like, feels like little miracles every time I get something. It's crazy, then, right? And yeah. then people come over and you're like serving them food And you're, you're like, grew. oh, like, this is my homegrown, yes. this, you know. <laughs> you feel, you feel like a gourmet yeah. chef, yeah. exactly, yeah. yeah. So you started with all the raised beds that we see yes. out here. And then this greenhouse came not not too long ago. Yeah, very right? recently. Like we're still not quite done with um, some of the details, like yeah. a little stonework on the outside, and um, you know, just figuring out the space and what I really want to do yeah. here. Anyways, we're here to help with the greenhouse. Thank you. So we've got. I actually see some of our stuff here. You got yes, the, the raised beds, which is really cool. I ordered some before I even yeah. met you guys. Cool um, to see. But yeah, I my my biggest issue in life, but definitely in situations like this, I have this empty space, mm -hmm. and if there's too many options, I can't make any decisions. I know the feeling. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I thought I would reach out to the experts yeah. and um, and ask for help because that's there's no shame in that game. I no. For some help. Especially with garden stuff, because if you set it up wrong, you're in for like years of pain. Right. You know. And so yeah, we'll, we'll help set this up, but I saw a couple of things I'd love to check out if yeah. you don't mind, so we'll do a little tour? Sure, Okay, let's, do, let's it. do it. Okay, so we are here in the outdoor garden, which kind of wraps around the greenhouse in a really, really cool. pretty way. Yeah, well yeah. We, um, we had that bed that we moved out there. That was originally kind of in the middle, like just a big, bigger oh, bed. Mm. Um, and then removed that and just thought this would be a really great place. And yeah. You know, I'm like, my kids can play back there while, yeah, while I awesome garden. Yeah, it's an awesome treehouse. Yeah. That is quite the treehouse, yeah. Uh, it, it made <laughs> sense, and we wanted it to be pretty and look like it belonged. So I see a coop. Yes! Jacques and I both have a coop, and so we're sort of like coop efficient. Do you mind if we check it out? Sure! Okay, let's go. Oh, wow, so you've got the whole outdoor yeah, like we, fenced we'll, in run. We're gonna clean it in the spring, so we'll pressure wash it and clean out the inside. But yeah. Oh, yeah. look at these girls. Yeah, and there's my big boy. Oh, you got the rooster. Oh, look nice. at that. that. Isn't he gorgeous? Yeah. He's got an amazing rooster. Amazing wow. tail. Yeah. I like the variety, too. Can we check? Yeah, I don't know if there was if they would have laid any yet. Oh, there's one. Oh, we got one little girl here. Doing the work. That's Linda. Linda. Yeah. She's working on it. She's oh, mean. Linda. Linda. I named her Linda because oh. she's Linda yeah. Blair. Watch Linda. She's not going to like this. No. No, I don't think she did. Oh, no. <laughs> she hit the watch. Linda, sorry. Yeah, I'm she's sorry. she was broody last year. Oh uh, yeah. That's how the she got the name Linda there. Blair. Yeah. <laughs> I said we need to pressure wash it. I'm a little embarrassed. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I think as far as coops goes, it's, it's very nice. This okay. is one of the cleaner coops I've ever seen. We wanted to Trust make me. it match the house a little bit, you know. Yeah. Okay, yes. orchard. This is our orchard. How many trees total do you have? I have no idea. Like hundreds, right? I have no idea. We have a lot of apples, we have a lot of peaches. Wow. These are a couple rows of peaches. Um, oh, nice. over there we have pears. We have plums that direction. Uh, it'll be so much fun to harvest. Oh my gosh. Yeah. yeah, and then blueberries, that's my favorite. You got blueberries oh, along the wall there? a big old row of blueberries. Oh, wow. And then blackberries back there. That's but, another one of those things. This is like the area that we would struggle with, everything in here. Yeah. Apples, you know, peaches, is, oh, blueberries. In your zone. Man, yeah. spring must look amazing out it here. It does. In about February, everything will kind of start budding out. Cool. Well, thanks for showing us. Yeah back here at the greenhouse and we've done some prep to figure out how to best utilize the space. So first of all, the dimensions. You're looking at 16 feet by 28 feet. Pretty good size. Pretty good size. And then the direction, Jacques, is really important right. with a greenhouse layout. 
The two on the team that actually have greenhouses, Brianna from Blossom Branch and Chris at Fluent Garden, helped us kind of conceptualize and lay this out. And so this isn't like a production nursery or a production greenhouse. So you, you wanna put some beds in here and you just want the ability to grow maybe into the winter or protect the summer. Exactly, and then we're also gonna play with like heights because since that's the north wall, we'll probably put the taller beds there, mm -hmm. I believe the plan was. <laughs> and then we'll move the lower stuff down this way, maybe a little seed starting section. Mm -hmm. So we've got some birdies beds here we need to build and then we're gonna put a big old potting bench on the south side, kind of looking at the house so you kind of get some nice scenery that you can do. And then we just got a couple other fun elements like some yeah. citrus trees and stuff, but right now we kind of got to get to building. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of building to do. All right, so what we're gonna start, yeah, we're gonna start by taking off this little it's like protective, protective coating on all yeah. these. They all have them? Yeah. Yep, they all have them. This is always the most exciting part. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is oddly satisfying to do the peel. I don't know what about it. All we're doing here is just kind of matching it, tossing a bolt through and like loosely, just loosely tightening it so we have the form of the whole thing. Does it matter what, no. Nope, that's, per that's perfect. Is it me or is does food just taste less? It does taste worse. It for sure does, yeah. It tastes like nothing at the store. Yeah, it's just water. It's crazy because you can grow like, I don't know, a kind of a normal variety of a tomato but if you grow it at your house it's, and you harvest yeah. it fresh and eat it right away, it's still better than Literally the best any, thing you can get at a store. Any variety. Yeah. My goal is to not buy produce at the store. Oh, that'd be cool. I think you're there, scale-wise, like the size of the garden, you could definitely do it. I, I freeze a lot and I, I got into canning. Oh, cool. I was I just about to ask if you're getting into that game, because winter here, you for sure can't grow. Right. So I've, I've got like a ton of green beans, stuff like that that's easy to grow. I grew nice. black eyed peas for the first time last nice. fall and they are awesome. They're so good. The so you like don't do delicious. anything. You just, you let just them, leave them You just alone. leave them. Yeah, and then yeah. you just pick them up. Yes. And then they dry and put out. them in a drawer. Like it's amazing. Are you big into cooking? Are you like cooking most of the time? I, yeah. I mean, I'm no, I'm no chef. I keep everything pretty simple. Yeah. All over yeah. the, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Chain reaction. Carrie, for the ones you're screwing in, skip the third one down and skip the third one from the bottom. Okay. Because we're gonna put two little braces in there so it doesn't bow out. All right, almost done with these two. Yes. So now, we just have to tighten it all up. I'm gonna grab this and just go in on each screw and just give it a quick little snug. You wanna talk potatoes? Potatoes! I'll tell you what I did, you can tell me what I did wrong. Okay. So I used grow bags. It's a good start. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How big were they? It's this big. Oh, it's the oh, it's the potato oh, bag potato where you bag. can open up the thing and see them. Oh, well, I never did that. Yeah, yeah I've so. never done that either. I've never actually used that, but I've seen them. You can harvest new potatoes. I was like, potatoes. if I open it, all the dirt's gonna fall out. Yeah. I had a big experiment. I ordered some seed potatoes. Okay. And I used some of those, and then I had I actually had some sitting on my counter that were starting to sprout. Yep. So I used that. I did like red ones, white ones, blue ones, um, nice. some sweet potatoes and some purple sweet potatoes. Okay. And the sweet potato ones, like the the plants grew, they're gorgeous. They like, grow like that crazy. surprised yeah. me. Like one day I just looked down, I was like, ah, like, <laughs> yeah, sweet potatoes. Like That's amazing. Um, but then my potatoes, uh, so I, I put them down in a, like not a whole lot of dirt. Yep. Um, like cut side down and then um, kind of covered them like barely and then they would grow and then I'd cover them some more and then they'd keep growing and I'd cover them some more. Okay. I kind of did that. What did I do? The hilling. That is right. Yeah. Oh. That is right. When Why you, did I get no trip? When, no when you planted them, they were already sprouting too, right? Yeah. So I, I mean, think, that's like what you should did do. Did I just not leave them long enough? <laughs> yeah, I was gonna I say it, yeah. I left them forever. The biggest mistake I think most people do with potatoes is they try to harvest too early. Yeah. You want the plant. You get curious, basically. Yeah. I feel yeah. like my plant kind of died. You want it to totally die, and then you want to like leave it for another two weeks after it really? does. Really? And then okay. they'll kind of bulk up a little more. Yeah. Um, but sometimes, like, I've had spotty yields with potatoes. Yeah, yeah, to be honest with you, it might not have been much about what you did. It could have just been the variety or the time of yeah. year or the watering schedule or something. Cause sometimes well, like- the, the watering schedule was, cause I was, was a little sketchy. Out, so yeah, yeah, so yeah. Sometimes I'm like, they, they need a drink. Yeah. Might do really they weren't well. on any kind of drip, I would, I would just yeah. water them myself. They might do really well in the raised beds, but then like- 
generally what happens is that you're like potatoes one, so probably always have them because you'll leave like a little one. Mm -hmm. But it's not that big of a deal. I just I love the ideas of potatoes because you don't. All you need is potatoes to grow more potatoes. <laughs> yeah, like, you know it's what an I mean? unlimited it's cycle. Really yeah, right. exactly. It's kind of like garlic. We we just planted a bunch of garlic and almost no one grows it from like a true seed. It, it sounds scary. Yeah, all of it sounds scary. Have you have you grown garlic ever? Mm -hmm. oh, it's really you, you totally should. Do I have to plant it like? You missed it for this winter? season, yeah. but you could do it in, like if you plant yours in November, they, you'll be good. Yeah, I think you could technically plant it now. We have the layout set up. It took a little bit of Tetris, but we went with an L shaped here, two of the talls, Jacques finishing off the last L right there. And then this is still to be determined, but we're gonna put three rounds over here for now because there's a big potting bench that we're gonna put in for Carrie right here. And these citrus, probably gonna be like left, right side, kind of like a little citrus oasis in the potting bench. But now we have the hardest part, which is 17 yards of soil to shovel. So let's get to it. All right, well, I'm gonna dump the first load in then. Actually, I don't know if it's smart to do it like this. <laughs> you want me to <laughs> scrape it in? You might, I might need a scraper, yeah. There it is. There it is. It's like the opposite of breaking ground. <laughs> there we go. This stuff looks really good, honestly. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. I guess we do need a shovel though. I think you just need All a right, shovel. Right. You know, just chip me in. <laughs> Boom. Easy. Okay, we have finished the soil. It was a task, but we got it done right before the sun went down. And the layout, I think, looks pretty good. Yeah. We got lucky in the sense that this perfectly matched this side, the <laughs> yeah. L's on both sides. We're gonna do the citrus here and here, but the L works really well. And then we put the shorter beds right here, and we still have, I don't know, about two feet of space, so you can kind of crouch yeah. down if you want and reach and work. And then we put the rounds over here and filled it all up with some local soil right about to the top. And that's it for day one. Yeah. I'd say pretty good. We made some good time. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a lot of the manual labor is the, behind us. I was going to say stuff. thanks to Carrie for also shoveling. Yeah. <laughs> you went hard. I'm not going to let you guys have all the fun. <laughs> you went hard. <laughs> that was very helpful. So tomorrow we've got kind of the more fun stuff where we're going to mix some soil for the two citrus. We hopefully will get the potting bench in and kind of like some little final touches, maybe yeah. start some seeds together. Could talk and about some it. planning ideas. It'll be fun. Yeah. Awesome. So we'll see cool. you guys tomorrow. We're back again for day two of the Epic Greenhouse install, but we're waiting on a potting bench, which I'm very excited for you to see because I think it looks really cool. But we've got some citrus. You've named one of them already, I believe. I did. The bear slime. His name's Teddy. I got to figure out names for the other ones. So we, we've <laughs> named it before we may have to prune it, which is a bit of a sad <laughs> moment, but Teddy, I think we'll be okay. So we're going to pot these up, but we have to mix up some citrus mix which we couldn't find around here. So we just kind of bought some ingredients to make our own. So when you're doing citrus, mm -hmm. since especially since it's not growing in the environment that it's used to growing in, you want to give it kind of a loose, well-draining mix. They just didn't, usually you can go, go to the nursery and just buy a citrus mix. It wasn't around town. So we bought some standard potting mix that has what's called forest products, which is kind of just like bark, yep. which it wants. So we'll cut that in. And then I bought some extra bark just to give it more drainage because it'll be in a pot. It'll be in the greenhouse. So all we gotta do is just dump a couple bags in and you guys can start mixing if you want. Thanks. Add more in. So I was reading about like the Myers lemon and how uh -huh. it's like a cross between a lemon and an orange mm -hmm. just to make it sweeter. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, it's the sweetest lemon you can get. They're really nice. Like people often use them for like lemon tarts and stuff. Yeah, like they desserts. start, you know, making um, like lemonade and stuff, which yeah. my my boys love. To so. me, the craziest part about citrus, because I just got my first good sort of harvest of all the ones I planted a year and a half ago, is how different they all are. Because like I have like four different oranges, and they all, if you taste them, yeah, you true. can tell there's something very different about some each are a flavor. little more acidic, some are a little more sweeter. So I'm probably gonna venture out and get like a clementine. Oh yeah, oh, okay. Tree, okay. Might as well. Yeah. And this yeah. this mix would work. For that would that be as perfect well. for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So all we want to do, if we're good with this placement, guys, we'll switch to shovels, and then we'll just shovel in to the bottom, place it, and make sure it's nice and firm. Shovel up. Woo! <laughs> there we go. Lovely. A life of citrus begins. 
Oh, 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 oh. Getting smacked. I'm getting live That's smacked. not the first time I've done that. It's, yeah, he hit me with a corn stalk and it was really hard once. Still haven't apologized. He, and he, I don't think he ever will. So, so sometimes, I mean, let's look at the roots though. We could unwind a little Usually bit. Usually when you're transplanting a tree, carry, <laughs> no. at, least, at least for most of them, you want to look at the roots and see if it's bound at the bottom, mm -hmm. which it, it really isn't here. You'd see it kind of like spiraling around, yeah. which would mean that when you put it in, it'll just kind of follow the same. It doesn't know it left the pot kind of. Okay. So something I usually do like is just give side. it a very light kind of rake and it. See how it like just teases these mm -hmm. out a little bit so that when they get in here, they know to kind of come out this way instead of. And since we're indoors, like there'll still be a lot of sun. So should we orient the graft point? I the would. Right way? I think so I will. I think we, what, what was it again? What does that mean? Yeah, that's so, very technical terminology <laughs> yeah, there. This right here mm -hmm. is like the rootstock. It's like some sort of more hardy citrus. Everything below, really well. yeah. Everything below this point is, is not a bear's line, yeah. right? So everything above is, and usually this is where the graft cut is. So that's why this one's cut, because yeah. this would have been from the other variety. Okay. And so wherever that cut is, you usually orient it north so it's not getting hit with sun, because citrus especially like really doesn't want the branch to be hit with too much sun. Okay. That's why we're going to prune it in a sec, and you want it to kind of be all bushy and mm -hmm. thick, unlike the stuff in the orchard, which is a little more open. Yeah. yeah. So which way was north? That would be... That way. So we'll orient it just like that, right? Yep. Okay, so you hold it in place there, Jacques, and then we'll fill around you and make it nice and smug. Yeah, I feel like we could even leave it a little below the level. I just think to so. keep the height down. Yeah, so when you do citrus in ground, usually, Carrie, you, you'll like lift it slightly above the ground because it really doesn't want to be what's called wet feet. Yeah. Um, and so that helps it kind of drain a little okay. bit better. But in this case, since we made our own mix, it's more or less exactly what this wants, so mm -hmm. we'll be fine. Okay, so we're in. The question now, do we give it the haircut or do we not? Which is the painful moment. I think so. Yeah. yeah. I can't Just keep going it. up. Mm -hmm. We don't have not only limited. Should it not go up, but it doesn't even want to really in a yeah. perfect yeah. world. Because what'll happen, like it got grafted, right? And mm -hmm. so that graft just kind of went straight vertically for a while. And this is probably like maybe one or two years old, I would say. But what happens if, is if we cut it, come in here and cut it at like 45, it'll stall for a bit, but then you should start seeing a bunch of stuff coming out here, which is where yeah, we want it. Sure. So I think we should probably do that. I'll let you do the honor, so okay. Poor I'm Teddy. I'm scared. I'm sorry, Teddy. Somewhere in there. Yeah, that's that's good. Yep. Yeah. Boom. There it is. Right. Oh, there's he's a little been, band right here. It's been decapitated. All right, so while Carrie and Kevin pot up the Meyer lemon, I'm gonna just go ahead and mulch this. This is just to help keep a little bit of that moisture in, stop it from drying out, and it should just make it happier overall. Ooh, <laughs> a little aromatherapy. <laughs> How are the roots? Actually, they look really nice. There's no like, I don't think I even need to do much they, of that. They look even a little. Yeah, a little, a little less, less bound. All right, so we cut this guy down to here. We could always just match cut it. I think so. But that is definitely more than you normally would. We'll do what's best for the plant. Her name's Judy. There you go. Judy. Sorry, Judy. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, Judy and Teddy. One of the Michael Myers movies. Uh, yeah, one of the go. Halloween movies. Although Sweet. she died. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. Maybe <laughs> hopefully, it hopefully be. I don't know if that's the omen you're trying to send right now. Huh. Hopefully no foreshadowing. Oh yeah, we gotta see what's in this box. Yes. Okay, here. We know you wanted a mul mulberry. Elderberry. <laughs> elderberry. elderberry. Okay, well let's, let's see what's in there because it might Is that not it? be. It might not be. It says a blackberry, oh. mulberry. Oh, Do we get some combo? Things. I think we got some kind of combination. <laughs> Did we get a bunch of... Oh, oh got it. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's the strawberries. Yay! <laughs> we got raspberry, we got blueberry, we got blackberry, and we got mulberry. Okay. How do mulberries grow? They are like a tree. Those do grow like a tree. So you yeah. could throw the, the blackberry and the raspberry and stuff wherever. Because you have those I already, have right? Blackberry and it's a black there. raspberry, it says. Oh, it's a BLK? What? You're right. Okay, okay. I didn't know that was a thing. So we got something special then, good. Okay, this is actually right. great, because what we can do now is, if you want to grow strawberries, you yeah, can start I these do. now in Very the greenhouse. Much. We just pick, pick a bed. <laughs> We're on to the strawberries now. So we have some bare root strawberries. These are actually a wild strawberry. So the berry itself, usually with wild ones, it's they're just smaller, because they're not bred to be huge. But the flavor's super, it's like almost like the big ones got compressed into the small ones for the flavor. So we're gonna plant these, but then you started some carry from seed. I yeah, did. Which is next level. Well, which I, neither I, of us have ever done. I, so. thought, 
I thought my greenhouse was coming. It was one of those supply, you know, issue uh, problems. It's on so the I, boat somewhere. I thought it was coming <laughs> at a certain time, so I was like, I'm gonna start a whole bunch of stuff, so it'll just be ready. Yeah. Um, for when it gets cooler and whatever, and then it took forever. So these guys got a decent start, and then I just left them outside to die. Very sad. <laughs> But they made it. They yeah. made it through um, through the coldest parts, pretty much. Of Not only winter. that, but like this one looks oh, really good, and you good. have like a little flower this going here. Needs some back. love, it's but back. it's still, there's still some life there. So. Yeah. So we should plant these ones first. Yeah. Let's see. We could put her right in the corner, maybe. Like right here? You can get real close. I can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here's a scoop. I know. Uh, I might need something a little. There you go. There we go. Thicker. So then with strawberries, it's actually really important. There's like a crown right in the middle where all the new growth's coming from, mm -hmm. you can't have that below the soil at all. Okay. Or it'll rot and die like almost right away. Okay. And so I'll kind of hold it here and just backfill around. Yeah, it's strawberries, the big thing is to just basically not overwater them. Carrie's berries number one is in. Carrie's berries. <laughs> Carrie's berry number two right Let's here. put this maybe in the other corner. So just we, well, let's put it right next to it so we remember what, where it is. So now for these guys, we'll just separate them out. See how many we've got. This is the way I typically We'll grow them for straws. I've, I've done like six inches or so. It'll get a little crowded because you'll get them kind of running. Okay, so if you want, you can start digging those in. And you don't have to do anything too crazy. You can just kind of like pull and drop and then nice. just like do that, you know, and then it's in. Look at that. Okay, so what we could do right now is we're thinking at least maybe some root crops in these beds. Yes. So we should just sow the seeds. We just do okay. it. Yeah. yeah. I asked. I asked my son, my um, almost eight-year-old, what he I was like. Is there anything you want me to mm -hmm. grow? And he was like, carrots. Okay, let's okay. do that. Like, That's right. perfect. We got so some in here, I'm sure. Carrots. What we could do is kind of guesstimate like some little circle or something that we could put the carrots into. So, so you can see all the little seeds in there, mm -hmm. and then. Well, you can oh, do. his signature technique. Yeah. Tap, is, tap, tap. This is yeah. his magic tap. Yeah. <laughs> and then they'll start. You can kind of go uphill, and they'll still fall. So that way, nice. when you're putting that them, that is good technique. See that, good see that precision. <laughs> yes. That. that way, you're not like overseeding it too much, and you can kind of knock them down a little bit if they're getting a little too thick. Yeah. Our right. radish and beets. You want to give it a go? There you go. Oh, there we there go. It is. It's just Look that easy. And then I'm gonna get out of your way. I'm gonna make a third ring on the yeah, inside. Yeah, for sure. So. Yeah, the only reason I didn't do it is just in case. But since we're being so good with the seeds, we have plenty. Yep. It's not like you guys like own a seed company. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have a source for you. If yeah. You need more. If we run out, you know, we know what? where to get it. I see like those um, like library card holders for seeds. Oh yep. yeah. Like the old ones. I'm like, I need to get one of those. I am highly ready for that in my life. Okay, I think the bench is here. Oh my god. I think that's the bench. We just got really lucky because the potting bench is in these three boxes here. We thought it would come later. It came right now. So we're gonna switch to building that out, which I'm very excited for. But we also got a little mystery package from an Epic Warehouse. And I'm curious, because I didn't even know, I don't even know what we sent here, Carrie. <laughs> nice. yeah. So I'm not sure. So I'll surprise. let you open this one okay. up. And then I'll open this one here. What could it be? Ooh. Oh, we got the power plants. Nice. Oh, nice. Those are my favorite. Plants. Ooh, look at this. Okay, we got. Oh, we could have used those earlier. Don't go too. Nice, nice. <laughs> Extra pair of gloves. Nice. Can always and then use then gloves. One more. You guys are box. hooking me up. Specialty box in here. Yeah. Get it. Oh, oh we got the four cells. Nice. nice. Yeah. This is great. This is great. Oh, so okay, this amazing. is like absolutely perfect timing for You're the potting bench. Hooking me up. I love yeah, you it. Got, you got a. A haul here. I know. Okay, so let's, it will all be used very yeah. well. Let's lay it down and let's see what we're getting ourselves into with this build here. I'm excited. You said this is from Texas? Yeah. It's from Texas. I'll hand these to you. We'll just all start right. laying them out. Four. It smells good. Yeah. Oh, really nice. All right, number two. We got our final piece. Done. Potting bench. Done. Amazing. All right, let's put it in place. Oh, it's super light. Yeah, it's not too bad. <laughs> I was You're like expecting like, to be like, who? Yeah. Hey, there we go. Yay! All right. 
Well, what do we want to do next? Okay, seed starting. Yes. So let's do... Seed starting, 101. Yeah. We have completed Carrie's greenhouse, at least for now. There's a lot of growing to do. Yes. And we bought way too much soil, so <laughs> we spent some time topping off the outdoor raised beds. But let's take a look at what's going on inside. What do you think, Carrie? Layout? I, I love it. I love it. It feels, feels great. I love that we've got herb bed right up front, yes. so you can just pop in, pop out. Right. Got the herbs starting over there. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking you're gonna put in here spring, summer? Um, maybe get a jump on some things, try to try to early grow some things I'll have to wait a little longer for mm -hmm. in the summer. So maybe some squashes, maybe some tomatoes. Yeah. Doc and I were talking, we love the idea, since you have these little sliding yes. things, you could throw them up there and then just have string trellises yeah. come down. Yeah. And just kind of grow whatever you want, like yeah. right up to the like top. Like picturing all these right. like peppers along this back wall, like yeah. looking all nice. Maybe some flowers hanging from yeah. the yeah, yeah. Little so yeah. I'm short enough, I can just walk right <laughs> yeah. under. Yeah, you could dodge them for sure. Make it make some, add some color. We've got the berries here yes. with your two from seed. Right yes. there, which honestly I think are gonna do really well there. They look I'm great. Excited. They're gonna love it. We've they got look the, happy. the carrot bed, the beet bed, the radish bed, so the root crop trio right here, and then the seedling table, yep. which is looking really nice. Yes, and I'll, I'll get a better lighting set up. Yeah. This yeah. will work for now. That'll work for yeah. now, for sure. Yeah. We got Judy the Meyer lemon. Yep. Yes. Teddy the bear's lime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Miracle berry. A nice little date palm. Names to come. We'll see on those. <laughs> Things TV to day. put out in the orchard. Mm hmm. Mulberries, blackberries. Yep. I think it turned out really well. Yes. I'm stoked on it. Very yeah. happy. It was really fun, too. Fun project. Thank you guys. Well, thank you. This yeah. Was, it was fun. I learned a lot, it got was, a lot done. We got a lot done in two days. <laughs> yeah. You can do a lot if you focus on it. So thanks for having <laughs> us out, Carrie. Really appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next episode, guys. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.